so where did I get my start in cryptocurrency mining? Let me show you. Shane here, thanks for stopping by my channel. So today we're gonna dive in and see exactly where I got my start in cryptocurrency mining. Also, we'll be picking a winner for this week's Bitcoin Fridays. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing, clicking that notification bell, setting all notifications. And if you like this kind of content, hammer those likes. Let's get into it. All right, so it's going on probably three years now since I got my start in cryptocurrency mining. Well, maybe not quite three years, probably about two years and nine months or so, but who's counting? Anyways, I got my start over on Mining Pool Hub, mining with SMOS. So today we're going to dive in and look at the Mining Pool Hub aspect of it and show you guys exactly what you can do with it. It's a pretty neat little mining pool, so we're going to dive in and I'll show you guys the ins and outs. Real quick though, have you guys ever heard of Mining Pool Hub? Are you currently using it? Let me know down below, simple yes or no, or let me know what you are using if you're not using Mining Pool Hub. Do that real quick, and without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the computer and check out Mining Pool Hub. Have you ever wanted to convert your crypto into an actual coin? Well, with Make Some Crypto, you can do just that. Take home one of the best commemorative Bitcoins today. The intricate detail of these coins is a perfect conversation starter at your next party. Stop by Make Some Crypto today. Pick up one, two, heck, pick up a whole bag for your family. Link will be down in the description. All right, so as usual, everything I'm talking about will be down below this video, so don't worry about searching for any of this info. So like I said, when I got started in cryptocurrency mining, I think it was Voscoin that turned me on to Mining Pool Hub, and of course, SMOS. I've since moved on from SMOS. If you guys don't know what that is, it's just a type of operating system that allows you to mine cryptocurrencies. So here we are on the home page of Mining Pool Hub. I've already logged in. If you need to actually sign up, it's a really easy process. It's a no brainer. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we'll click on edit account and I'll show you guys right here. I think it may actually ask for your username when you actually sign up. I haven't done it in a long time, so I'm not quite sure on that. But anyways, you're going to need a username. So just go ahead and put that here. And you can give your donation percent. You can set or create a new password right here, four digit pin, et cetera, et cetera. You'll need a four digit pin for making withdrawals or any updated changes within the actual pool. All right, so let's go back over to the home page right here. Now down on the left hand side, these are all the different coins that you can actually mine on Mining Pool Hub. There are of course ASIC mineable coins and GPU mineable coins. If you look at it here in the center, and we're looking at NVIDIA right now. It'll show you the top coins currently that you can mine with NVIDIA cards. So we got, of course, we got Ethereum, Ravencoin, and Bitcoin Gold, and it goes on down the list. You click on AMD, and it'll show you the most profitable coins for AMD. And as you can see here, the list is pretty similar to NVIDIA. So let's go ahead and click on Auto Exchange. This is what I'm doing right now because I went ahead and looked at my balance that I had within the actual pool. And I noticed I had a decent amount of Bitcoin, so I hopped back on it. And now I'm mining Ethereum and converting it to Bitcoin. I'll show you guys that here in a second. So this is where you can set your auto exchange. You can click this little drop down right here. And this is what's cool about this pool. You can mine, let's say, Ethereum, and you can have it auto converted to any one of these coins right here that you want. Now, when I first started and I didn't know any better, I was mining Ethereum and converting it to Verge. So I got a lot of Verge early on. Of course, now looking back, uh, you know, I was a newbie, I didn't know any better, and Verge is pretty much worthless, but I'm hoping it goes back up in the future. But anyways, as you can see here, I am converting it to Bitcoin. If you don't want to convert it and auto exchange it to anything, you just go ahead and click on not set, and whatever you mine, let's say you're mining Ethereum, you'll get paid out in Ethereum. So let's go over to balances right here. This will show you everything you've mined. And as you can see, I got some Bitcoin in the Bitcoin wallet. I'm currently mining Ethereum. As you can see, it says 
auto exchange wallet then on the exchange so it will actually go and put it on an exchange convert it to bitcoin and then that will be deposited into your bitcoin wallet i did mine some expanse a long time ago so monero ravencoin and z classic as you can see right there all right so if we scroll down and like i said i'm mining ethereum right now on my nvidia rig we just go ahead and click on ethereum and what's nice about this pool it'll give you a nice little mining guide it'll show you your server pool addresses that you can use us europe asia and there's a nice hash version there's a little command line for the asic miner then you scroll down and it's got your actual bat file information for claymore right here eth miner phoenix miner i'm using phoenix miner right now on my nvidia rig i'll show you guys that in a sec but notice how there is no actual wallet address your wallet address is going to be your username and of course it'll all be deposited to your wallet within the actual pool here and you see dot worker name of course i put mine dot nvidia rig so i'll show you guys that here in a sec so if you scroll back up, I can go ahead and click on dashboard and I'll show you guys that I am mining Ethereum right now. It's showing me a recognized pool hash rate of about 105 mega hash on that NVIDIA rig. You can go ahead and click wallet. And if you wanted to just mine Ethereum and have it paid out, this is where you can put your Ethereum wallet address, put your threshold in there. And to do any changes, of course, you'd have to enter your four digit pin, which you did that on your edit account page. So if we go back over to dashboard right here, and we scroll down, this will show you your actual payouts per day. So I got 0 0.00983 uh, as of yesterday, the 10th on the 11th is currently running right now. And it just gives you guys a gauge of how you're doing from day to day as far as the amount of coin you're mining. All right, so we can go ahead and click on workers and this is gonna show you your actual workers, which one's online, which one is not. As you can see here, uh, my NVIDIA rig is online, it's active, and my AMD rig is not. This AMD rig is actually mining nice hash right now. And we go over here to graphs. This will just show you a graphical representation of your hash rate over however many days you've been mining on the pool. This would be your combined hash rate if you had multiple rigs, but of course I'm only mining with my NVIDIA rig. So now let me show you guys an example over here on my NVIDIA rig of what the actual bat file does look like. I'm using Phoenix Miner, like I said, and I put it in its own folder. I put it actually in a global folder here called Mining Pool Hub. If you go into there, there's my Phoenix Miner right there. I labeled it ETH. And in Phoenix Miner latest version 5.1, here is the actual run.bat file. Let me go ahead and pull that up for you guys. All right, so here's the bat file. And like I said, you can see here's my Mining Pool Hub address. There is my username. Again, it's not an actual wallet address. It's the username for the pool. And of course, dot NVIDIA rig. And like I said, the dot NVIDIA rig, if you go back over to my workers, it'll show up right here in NVIDIA rig right there, which of course is on my bat file. If you guys want this bat file, it will be down below. If you guys wanted to actually test out mining pool hub and do a little auto switching between the different coins so if you did want to mine with mining pool hub you paste all this info into an actual notepad file you're going to click file save as and for the purposes of this video i'm going to call it run one dot bat make sure it's a dot bat or it will not work go ahead and click save and let me go ahead and x out of that so there's a run one file i just created and of course at this point i think you guys know all you have to do is double click on it and the miner will pull up and look just like this and you'll be up and mining on a mining pool hub. So if we head back over to here, this is really an easy pool to mine with, especially if you're a beginner or maybe you don't like mining with nice hash or better hash, kudo miner or anything like that. This is just another way for you guys to mine the most profitable coin, at least on their actual pool. And you can convert it into Bitcoin or whatever other coin that you want. So that's Mining Pool Hub in a nutshell, guys. Let me know down below what you guys think of Mining Pool Hub. Are you guys thinking about using it, currently using it? Let me know down below. I like interacting with you guys. So now let's go ahead and head over to my website and we're going to pick a winner for this week's Bitcoin Fridays. All right, so here we are in the back office of the Crypto Fish YouTube channel. Latest giveaway, 9-11, 72 contestants. 
5,046 total entries. Let's go ahead and click on manage giveaway. All right, so like I say every time, all you gotta do is click this little draw button. It will randomly pick a winner. If you don't win, don't worry. Just make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and the email list so you don't miss that next entry to win video. That will come out usually next Tuesday or Wednesday. So without further ado, let me go ahead and click draw and see who wins Bitcoin Fridays. All right, so we have William. Congratulations, William. Let me go ahead and confirm William. All right, let me go ahead and notify William. All right, William, you should be receiving an email here shortly. Just go ahead and respond to that email with your Bitcoin wallet address, and I will send this week's Bitcoin Fridays winnings right on over to you. Thanks for playing. Thanks, everyone, for playing. I really do appreciate that. If you guys have any additional questions or comments, be sure to put them down below, and I'll definitely try and get back to you. If this is your first time here, consider subscribing, clicking that notification bell, setting all notifications. If you like this video, hammer those likes. If you think somebody else would like this video, be sure to spread the word. I would appreciate that. If you guys missed my mining profits video or my nice hash mining video, both of them should be popping up here shortly. Be sure to check those out. And with that, guys, I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.